Glass, aluminum, and paper are things we usually recycle. But how about saving oil, water, and energy? Jenna Coburn explains. Are you sick of holding on to an abundance of old paperwork and documents? Well, El Segundo's annual shred day is just the place to take care of that problem. Residents came with cars and boxes full of paperwork they wanted to securely dispose of. People stopped at City Hall where they would hand off their unwanted documents to be placed in huge trash bins. They then could sit and watch as their paperwork rose into the shredder and was shredded into a million pieces. Documents like um, credit card applications, uh, credit card bills, or anything that has your social security or any personal information on that that you just don't want to throw away in the trash or in the recycle bin. The difference between this shred truck and a traditional home shredder is quite apparent. They don't shred it just as a long shred. They do what's called a confetti shred. So it's into tiny little pieces. While most try and do the right thing by recycling their paperwork, there are still quite a few who fall victim to identity theft. Over the last year, nearly 12 million people were affected. It's easy to do. Criminals always try to find the easy way to get money, and unfortunately identity theft and fraud is the biggest thing going on right now. Even the police department used the shred truck to their advantage. El Segundo Police Department's even going to utilize it. We have a lot of uh, documents that we do shred, but we're going to utilize it. Dropping off your old unwanted documents to be shredded is a free service provided by the City of El Segundo, the El Segundo Police Department, and Consolidated Disposal Services. It truly gives everyone a little peace of mind. It's great just to be able to see it be shredded in front of you, you know, you make sure it's all safe and gone and nobody's going to mess with it, and you know, so it's, it's wonderful. I think it's great. I myself had some unwanted documents that I needed to make sure were shredded. Not only did this service recycle paper into more paper, it saved over 76 trees 31,000 gallons of water, 750 gallons of oil, and over 18,000 kilowatts in energy. We've been here about an hour and 15 minutes, and the truck is more than halfway full. And we, we got a still another two hours at this event, so we are really happy with the turnout. So everyone, start saving those old documents and bring them down to next year's shred day, and save yourself the hassle of shredding them at home. For El Segundo TV, I'm Jenna Cope.